Remember the story of the three little pigs and the big bad wolf? The huffing and puffing and blowing the house down, etc, etc. We have all heard that story. But I have thought if those pigs were smart enough to build the houses, they should have been more prepared. Let's fix that, shall we? Once, three little pigs thought of getting their own houses being made. And shortly afterwards, they came to hear that there is a big bad wolf in the town who is widely known for blowing down poorly made houses by his huffing and puffing. On knowing to it, the pigs got ready with a master plan. One of them prepared a house made up of straw, one built a house made up of sticks, and other one made up of bricks. Soon after, the hungry big bad wolf showed up to the first house, and as he sniffed, he detected the presence of a young pig. He shouted towards the flimsy house, Little pig, little pig, let me in. But he received a bizarre and an outlandish reply. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Hearing to this driving, the wolf threatened the pig of throwing his house. But what was that? The pig was ready with a trap and the wolf received a strike attack. He then landed to the second house and again smelled the presence of a pig. He again dropped the same dialogue to end to his surprise. The reply to it was also the same. In frustration, he warned the pig that he'll blow his house. But the flabbergasted wolf got attacked by the bees. He ran screaming hard. Meanwhile, the pig was chortling in a grunty and snorty voice. The injured wolf then bumped into a house made up of brick. He seeked help from shouting from outside by telling his condition. He begged from the person inside to let him in. But with a maniacal laugh and the same reply, he found that the house is of none other than the third pig. On getting aware of the point, the wolf hurriedly attempted to run away from there for the sake of saving his life. But all efforts in vain. As soon as the pig let down a switch, the wolf got a springy attack. He was then roaming in the air like a parachute. Eventually, he landed to an unfamiliar house. He wondered, where is he? He found a bear family as the owners of the house. They treated him very gently, and the big bad wolf shared his old story with the family. They were nice creatures, so they gave him a chance of earning his livelihood by doing hard work. From that day only, he started working at the bear family's home and earned accordingly what he actually deserved. The three little pigs, along with the other animals in the town, also lived peacefully ever after. So, the moral of the fable was that the nature always gives you a second chance. But the choice is all yours. Thank you.